All right, well, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's just jump back in here. Okay, the junkyard is here. Hello, junkyard. It's been a bit since I've been here, huh? I haven't played this game in a long time, thinking about it. The door is shut tight. Oh, okay. I did do the jump rope minigame last time I was here, and I got it. No hit, baby. So you know what? Let's just go for it. Why don't we try and go for some more, like, no hits? I can... Probably do it. Ah. Bo -do -do -da. Bo -do -da. Well. Whoa. Not sure if I got everything yet, but it's okay. I'll make do. I don't quite remember how to play this game exactly. But you know what? It was a very good one, so I think it was worth it. Hold on a minute. Let's, let's take a look at what my captures are working right now. There we go. Okay, well. Down the stairs we run. What I find really funny is that one of the NPCs you're going to we're going to encounter in this adventure. Oh, I'm talking too fast again. Hold on. Let's calm down a little bit and try and speak a little clearer overall. Yeah, there we go. It's a campfire over there. Our companion from a while ago. Rasta Beast is over there. You can go say hello if you want to. No, and no, we don't have to follow the path if you don't want to. You can just cut through it and say hello. Hey. Hey, Red and Blue. The night is here. Sit down and relax. You can still have a long way to walk in. Alright, sure. Been wanting to tell you, Red. Uh, this path can only lead to more torment. You have come this far, so I guess you've made up your mind. I pray this will lead to more questions than answers. There's something horrible might happen if you could, in your condition. Anyway, much has been said. It's time to hit the hay. Good night! Hey, Red. I have a confession to make. It's a little embarrassing. What? Not remember why we are here. What are we actually trying to achieve? I don't understand what we're do doing. Well, no one knows what we're doing. No, I do. I feel like everyone is speaking in riddles. There's no clear in indication what's actually going on. The only thing we should continue forward, I trust you. Just hope you do know what you're doing. I sure do. <laughs> We've already beaten the game once, so we know what goes on this way. I just wanted to say that I trust you. Good night. interesting is that red is not really a, is kind of a character but not really it's something else that's red why not save the game why not as good as a day can be the road is clear good luck thanks man There we go. Here it is. I could probably talk to him again, but the reason why we're here actually is not this. Ah. Ah. These ruins are here. about traversing the desert like this it should be terrifying in a way but for me i don't know it's kind of calming you know not a lot to see not a lot to worry about just going straight ahead don't have to worry about making turns or other cars or anything else really just going on through as long as you have enough water i suppose you're fine Time though. There's this car here. 
broken car, huh? Could have sworn there was a way to interact with the broken car, but may not. May another car at the parts we need. So I could have sworn. Do I already have the parts I need? Wait, what? The golden key. I think I got that from... I see. Okay. <sighs> well. Must go through, huh? We need something. Something to really open the game up. For all. Oh, we might get called out for our adventure here. So, wow, you walked the entire way to the old desert somehow? Not many visitors come out here. It's good that you have like, multiple saves. Who knows what might happen? Do you want to save? Well, Spencer from iCarly is apparently playing Cookie Clicker. Whatever that means. So I guess they're probably playing another game to cover that one up. Look who's finally stumbled in. You just won't give up. As much as I hate it, I must say I admire it. Using me... Chasing me to a place like this. The edge of nowhere. Luckily for you, I've prepared a welcoming party. Purple, do what I must pay you to do. Oh god, purple's the worst. Hello, Red. I... I cannot let you continue down this path. Leave now. Nah. Or I will kill you. <laughs> you tried before. Didn't quite work out. Says you didn't understand what I meant when I told you to leave. You regret disobeying my command. There's a ghost. Oh. Ooh, I feel pain. I've, I've resurrected you from the dead. You had to follow my orders unless the hell I release you. What is it you ask? I want you to disable the red one. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I had something funny caught in my throat. All right. Let's get down to the business. Oh, you want to pass, o Oily? Sorry, Dolly? That ain't happening. Amigo, you heard what the mage said. I'm gonna mess you up. Real bad. I don't know about that one, but okay. Let's, let's get in this fight, huh? So, it's been a while. I'm probably out of practice, but let's see. How, let's see. How... Okay. We can do this though. We're not. We're not. And we're an old hand at this. At this, at this point. Okay. We're pretty fast on our feet, but he's kind of a pain. Those moves. Ah. Oh. I'll do it. Don't that to me. Okay, there we go. Pretty good too, I think. Oh, stop that. One. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Oh, I'm not on this run though. All right, come on, zombie. <laughs> I can fairly easily do this without also trying to get no hit it. Also, it kind of surprised that expert mode or whatever doing it. Does that mean that we have a. Uh, Woo! Does that mean that we have uh, one hit point? Only for us, we passed the jump rope challenge, so we're not getting hit, by the way. So <laughs> we should be able to jump over these fairly easily. 
It's also a very strange game when it comes to rhythm games, you know. It's not actually a rhythm game, it just looks like it is. Because if we're at the one under the rhythm, he is. There we go, we got him. Yep. No, hit the zombie. You are no joke, that's right. <laughs> it's impossible, Purple, I can't do it. Yes, I see. I did not expect you to, to be victorious. That's right, baby. And lots of since we arrived in what we call Everhood. So, so many years have passed that I've almost forgotten some of us were only once humans, so I thought I would write our history before time fades our memories. A long time before we found the, the rift that would enable us to transport to this realm of the immortals. When we were a society of millions, a small selection of us had the privilege to become belong to the Institute. We had made debates on how to share this gift, this newfound miracle. Should we open it up for everyone, or should we only allow a few to visit the such a place? We decided it would have been far too long that we had kept this gift to ourselves. In the end, we determined that we should allow everyone to meet the eternal entities. And that is where Alayid, a great majority, decided to become immortals, while only a few would remain as mortals, such, such as the old, the sick, and the unfortunate ones with, with uh, reasons of their own, like cancer. Uh, you would experience the most euphoric moments of your life, and then completely forget they had ever happened over and over again. I still have fond memories of using the earthquake machine during my dance-off battles with Pink Mage. They were one of a kind, and I truly miss them. Brown Mage. So, Brown Mage is kind of really far gone. Like, we talked to him earlier, and he doesn't seem to know like anything of what's going on. Well, here's Purple Mage, though. I know your secret now. The tactic that he lets you win? I found your weakness, and I won't... I am Bob, former world champion. Raised from the dead. Now to fulfill my deed with my bro, Zob, but... Where's that guy, anyway? Ah, your green zombie friend. They are down the hall. Aw, oh, snap! That slacker knows we got a job to do. Well, wait. Hold on there. I recognize your voice. You're the one that summoned me. Oh, I see. You're part of the binding contract. It seems I have summoned the two entities? It sure seems like it, boss. That rob sure is loud. What do you want me to do, boss? Well, since you're here. Yeah, boss. You defeat it. I'll relieve you from your binding. Okay, boss. You piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, Red Fella, you're going down? Alright, Skeleton. Ugh. Check this out. Oh, uh, Impress. I'll just do double damage, by the way. Nothing really care. If we're as soon as we get hit anyway. So, it, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. I get a load of this. Ah, I didn't jump! Ah. Darn it. Ah. Oh well. Okay, I need to calm down and speak slower again. I felt that I was going that fast in this, because I'm kind of focused more on the game itself than my own speech. And that's kind of the purpose of this exercise here. I want to try and speak conversationally. Ah. Even when... Even when I'm... You know, distracted, I suppose. What? You're still up? That's right, baby. You have to actually hit me first. Kind of reminds me of the Slime Brothers, but you play good. <laughs> no hit, Rob, former world champion. It's not just zombie; he's Rob. But you get it, by the way, Rob and zombie. <laughs> Hot shark, can take them down, boss. Didn't expect you, you in there. Nothing has changed, Red. Okay, it's not quite over yet, as you might be able to guess. No, you're just prancing about in the same spot. The prize even got this far. The dead may not be able to step of you. Let me see the emblem as well. But I will not let you continue. I will end your journey. Purple is heckin' annoying. But actually not that bad if you don't get hit. It's, it's, it, her gimmick is... 
you get rewound if you get hit, which sucks. However, in our case, we don't care because we're not getting hit in the first place. Oh, okay. I dropped... I I got my my lucky sock. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe not lucky, but it's my sock that I used to. I used to uh, rest my arm on because it's 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 hard to like rest on a desk like this. It's it's kind of got like sharp corners and whatnot. But yeah, we don't even need to jump here. However, it's good to get used to jumping when I need, when you need to. Because there's gonna be times where you kind of need to jump, you know. sound oh. I missed it I guess I suppose if we get hit it's kind of like we rewind to the entire the entire beginning of the fight but it's not quite the same. That's what everyone does, right? So it doesn't really matter, I guess. My personal this least favorite part is when they turn the screen on me, you know? Oh. All right, all right. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump. There we go. <laughs> Again, <laughs> my vision is terrible, but this is probably a bad choice to make. But honestly, I'm still like kind of handling it. It's kind of giving me a weird effect on their eyes right now, on, on my uh, the effects here. We got purple mage. Okay. We're gonna have purple. What is that all you got? You puttering out, is that it? Come on. What? Is that it? Come on! <laughs> Not even that tough. Impressive! No hit purple mage. I wouldn't be able to stop you. Understand that I, I did what I could, must do. Let your choices be merciful. They're gonna be as merciful as possible. Unfortunately, the choices I have are not very good. There he is, golden pig! More like purple pig. Seems like unbeatable after all. I assume now you feel entitled to have your arm. I should take take what is mine. I have to take it from my cold dead hands. I will end you. All right, here we go. Gold pig. Scratch my nose. Let's get ready, huh? Ah. <sighs> Ah. Not particularly difficult right now. I will stomp your little face! Ah, I didn't jump. I should have jumped, but I went for the dash instead. We're pretty fast, actually. If you look how fast we can move, we can move at incredible speeds. However, it's not quite... Just a lot of focus on my part. Breathe and talk with. My, oh, I dashed too. F I actually moved too fast and jumped back into the attack, then I didn't avoid it. Okay. Ugh. 
That's what kind of what I like about this game, actually. You can move at the speed that you can press the button at, which means you can move incredibly quickly if you're, you know, got good, gotten good reflexes, reflexes, of course. I'll make you a, a challenge, I think I said. Let my enemies suffer, he says. Not really a huge threat so far. Oh, he got me, though. Ah. Now, in the older part of this game, the older patches of this game, you can beat certain bosses by going through checkpoints. That's no longer the case. You have to beat them all in one go. Though, you know, I I could, I got all the way up to a certain point, hit the checkpoint, and then got hit. So it feels like I should be able to just keep going from the checkpoint, but whatever, you know. I guess the argument there is that if you got hit before the checkpoint, then just like, you know, reset from the checkpoint, you should be, you shouldn't be, you could do that. Go for the no hit there, but I didn't get hit at all, and then hit the checkpoint, and then got hit. So I feel like I should be able to continue from the checkpoint. But I don't know. I don't know. You feel the need to include a checkpoint in your boss battle? You should probably be allowed to use it. Yeah, that's what I say. But again, you know, if you want that whole, like, impressive achievement thing, I guess you might want to not have that kind of handicap available to you. Still, I feel like you should be able to. Wait a little bit longer before they hit me. Ah, oh, I moved the wrong way. Darn it! Keep missing up on that on that uh, random row there. Oh well. So remember, you can move really fast if you want to. You can just mash the button and move like 800 miles in the blink of an eye, really. Probably isn't why they kind of have these little traps nowadays, so you have to jump instead of dashing through. But you actually can dash through them still, too. Ah, I didn't go far enough. Oh, well. Ah, oh, I need to just jump that one. There we go. So you can actually dash past them. You don't actually have to, uh... There's a little bit. There's enough space between the two uh, waves. Do you actually dash behind between them and to avoid them? There we go. Now, a real master of this game can master three lanes at once, and uh, two is what most people go for. Like, like that, you can just kind of do that and avoid most attacks. However, if you're really good, you can master three lanes at once and really, really succeed. Okay, I just need to jump when I need to. There we go. Just, just jump over them. Doesn't matter if it would hit you or not. Oh, okay, get, there we go. Ah, oh, they got me! Uh, I hate those things so much. I hate the wavy ones. Oh well. There we go. Oh, I, I was like kind of like taking a rest there. I didn't really think about that. Oh well. Oh well. Thirty-six minutes. Jeez, I've been going this for a while, huh? You know what? Let's just call out there for the time being. And hey, I'll see you guys next time, huh? Bye-bye.